in the previous both the videos we have seen how to create community in dspace how to create collection in dspace and how to create many collection in one community in dspace now our important job is that how to add the content or you can say the different digital objects in collection or community so in this video we are going to see how we can add the digital object which is available in different format like video file uh, word file excel file or the video file audio file in the different collection which you have created and here it is very important by adding the means item to the collection you have to take care of the metadata metadata is the part which contains the maximum information about your content which you are adding to the d space so let's see in this video how we can add the item to the collection in detail okay now after creating the community and collection we have to add item to different collection so as we have seen in the previous video that we created one top level community and inside that there are two collections that is the space workshop video and the second one is the e-newsletter so I am just going to show you how to add the item to different collection so first you have to log in with your user ID and password and when you log in you see there are two options start new submission view accepted submission so click on start new submission and when you click on start new submission you see here it is asking to choose the collection so you just click on this and your collection names under the community name is displayed so for example I have to add one art item to e-newsletter so I'll choose this one and click on next so when I click on next it will show me the metadata page and I have to fill before I submit so I'm going to write three party DP and if this item has more than one author so you can click here add more so it will allow you to add many author okay so I have added two authors here and the title name is e-newsletter let me make it monthly e-newsletter volume 1 issue 1 and when it was published so I'll take it as a June and uh, 2017 okay date let me take first June and who is the publisher so librarian guide is the publisher and if you have any citation for example I give my website detail here citation you can give the reference you can see where it can be browsed and if you have series or report number related to this what is this so I choose this is article if you have any identifier so you can give here like for example you know the identifier so you can assign the identifier here and then you just select the language by default it is English if you are adding the content in different language so you have to choose else you can leave it then click on next now it is asking that the subject keywords so I give here like library then Joomla then I add some more subject keywords dspace then I add uh, Koha likewise as many as I want I can add here and uh, the abstract about this 
particular e-newsletter I can write here this e-newsletter covers the following topic and I can mention here one two like that and then who is the sponsor no one is having the you are if you're not having any funding agency or a sponsor you can leave it you can describe if there is any other description for that particular item and then you click here on next so once you click here on next button it is asking to select a file to upload here so you just click on this and uh, you have to find the the document which you are you have decided to add so you have to see where you have kept the file so you have to locate that file and then you have to use for example my librarian guide is here so you can observe now this is added and now if you want to give any file description like librarian guide so you can give here file description and click on next so when you click on next it will show the step like this submit uploaded files the file which you have uploaded it will be submitted and you can add not only one file it you can add many files here sometimes when in case of thesis one thesis may have many chapters so the title will remain one but there can be many files and can be added one after another then click on next so when you click on next it is asking to verify your submission so it means it is asking that you check once before submitting to the collection whether it it is everything whatever you have entered is okay or not so you just click on I checked everything is okay now finally it is asking me the license always remember that the submitter suppose you are playing the role of submitter in D space so you are not the person f a responsible person for copyright issue because this is not if the item which you are submitting does not belong to you sometimes we receive the article or journal article or conference article from the faculty or research scholar so whoever is the owner of that article is responsible for copyright issues and for that purpose only we collect information or we collect one submission policy we, we, we manage, maintain one collect, uh, submission policy so that this kind of issue should be avoided and uh, then you have to grant the license and when you click on grant the license it will show submission complete and now it is asking me to submit another item to the same collection so before I submit I'll go to my D space go to home and I will look into whether it has been added or not so generally if you are logged in and you will if you search better not to do that you log out and observe whether it has been added or not yes it has been added uh, as we can see the author name is DP Tripathi Pragya Tripathi and the four subject keywords we gave while adding the item D space Joomla Koha library and the year 2017 let me show you librarian guide so how it picks the information you can see here it is showing monthly e newsletter volume 1 issue 1 and if you click on this it will show the complete metadata with URI all the detail if you click on this it will take you directly to the page invalid identifier because this is not the correct identifier so it, it is giving the wrong information means it is not taking the 
to the page but if you give the correct information it will directly take you to the uh, uniform resource identifier and if you want to see the added item to the collection you have to click on this so it will open your the item detail the article or the content which you have added to the collection so you see here this is the first issue of e-newsletter librarian guide and it is added to the collection librarian guide so in this way we can add many collection uh, many item in different collection one by one and uh, uh, increase the number of item in repository so hope I have been able to make you understand how to add one article to the collection in your repository in next video we are going to see many more please keep watching librarian guide for more videos thank you very much